Uh, Southern California counties assessing the damage after the region's strongest earthquake in 20 years. There have been more than 100 aftershocks throughout the area. Now scientists are warning about the possibility of an even bigger quake. CBS News correspondent Carter Evans reports from Ridgecrest, California, near the epicenter. The 6.4 magnitude quake in Ridgecrest sent items flying off the shelves at local businesses and broken bottles littered the floor of this liquor store. Everything that was on the shelves came crashing down. Um, the wine, all I heard was just and it just fell. Home security cameras caught the shaking that also caused roads to crack. This house went up in flames. We have multiple injuries. We've had two house fires. We've had uh, small vegetation fires, power lines down, gas leaks. The local hospital was partially damaged, so 15 patients were evacuated as a precaution. Some had to be airlifted to other hospitals. Wait, earthquake. what's going on? Are you You're serious? The first Tremors were felt even more than 100 miles away at our Los Angeles station, KCBS, and dozens of aftershocks were felt in the region. I was on camera this morning when a strong one came through. Roll, someone roll, 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 roll. Back in Ridgecrest, Mayor Peggy Breeden wow. says so they're concerned like about more potential damage. You've declared a state of emergency. What does that do for the city? It allows us to seek services from all the entities, both state and federal, that can help us with the cleanup. This was one of the largest quakes to hit Southern California since the 1994 Northridge earthquake. That trembler had a magnitude of 6.7 and left 72 people dead and up to $20 billion in damage. Caltech seismologist Lucy Jones says the area should expect aftershocks to continue for some time. There is about a one in 20 chance that this location will be having an even bigger earthquake within the next few days. The mayor says they're going to be sending crews out today to assess the damage around town. What they're looking for are infrastructure problems. We're talking about broken water pipes, cracks in the roads, broken gas mains, that sort of thing. All of this while the aftershocks continue. Carter Evans, CBS News, Ridgecrest, California. Dr. Susan Huff joins us now by phone from Pasadena, California. She's a seismologist at the United States Geological Service. So, Dr. Huff, can you just put into perspective for us, you know, for folks who aren't familiar with earthquakes, how powerful really is a 6.4 magnitude quake? Um, 6.4 is a powerful earthquake, as evidenced by the fact that people felt it all the way to Ventura and well into Los Angeles County. Um, it's not that uncommon for California, but they don't off happen every day, obviously, um, or even every year. As we saw in that package, Carter Evans experiencing an aftershock right there on television. There's more than 100 aftershocks that have been reported since yesterday. How long after an earthquake can these keep occurring? Well, the network has actually recorded over a 1,000 aftershocks wow. at this point. Most of them are way too small to be felt, but the largest was a magnitude 5.4. Um, it's in keeping with expectations for a magnitude 6.4 main shock. The number's going to die down pretty fast, but it's going to continue for months, if not years, to come for an earthquake this size. They'll just get fewer and fewer in number. Wow, interesting to hear you say months, if not years. How deep... Um, was this earthquake, and, and does the, the depth really matter? Yeah, it can matter a lot. It was around 10 kilometers, so six, just around six miles, which mm -hmm. is fairly typical for California compared to other parts of the world where you can have very deep earthquakes. They're, they're generally more shallow here. And as you know, everyone is concerned about when the big one could potentially <laughs> hit. I know this is a question journalists ask you over and over again. What's your sense? Is there anything you can read into that? No, we don't know. We don't have a crystal ball. We, it could be tomorrow. It could be 50 years from now. Anytime you have earthquake activity, it raises slightly the odds of something bigger. But as you heard Lucy Jones say, it's on the order of 1 in 20 chance. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't mirror the dire warning about larger future earthquakes, but it, it is a time for people to be on their toes and remember that any day is fair game for an earthquake in California. You say any day is fair game. We know experts say that there's still a potential risk that an even bigger one, the 6.4 that they experienced, could happen as early as next week. What do we know about that? Well, any any attempt to put a time frame on it yeah. is, is not supported. We can't say that. We, we put out probabilities. So there's about a 1 in 20 chance of something bigger within the next week. Um, so that's not a big chance. You know, night that 
um, 19 times out of 20, we, nothing will happen with an earthquake like this that's bigger. Okay. Um, but it's, it's possible. How sophisticated, how accurate are earthquake forecasts? And do scientists, um, can they predict? How, how is the prediction uh, value on these? Well, in terms of telling you that an earthquake is going to strike next Tuesday at 4 o'clock, we, we can't do that at no. all. Um, Why so is that? We can predict hur prediction. hurricanes, but we can't quite predict earthquakes. <laughs> We, we can see hurricanes coming, uh -huh. and we can't see what's going on deep in the earth, but it's not clear, like an avalanche, it's not clear that there's really any buildup to an earthquake. Mm -hmm. They may just happen without anything that we could that we can see. So people have been looking for a long time and never have seen what we call a precursor that reliably says, hey, heads up, earthquakes are on the way. What's your, I mean, you, you are an expert in this field, you've watched this for decades. What's your big concern in the coming months? Oh, boy. Um, you know, fortunately, this sequence was in a fairly remote area. It did impact people locally in Ridgecrest and Trona and other places, so we don't want to make light of that. Um, but it obviously was a very different setting from the 1994 Northridge earthquake, for mm -hmm. example, which was in an urban area. So the, the big concern is that you know, this is the biggest earthquake we've had in 20 years. People start to kind of forget what a big earthquake mm -hmm. is like. We have fours and fives that are pretty manageable. Um, so people may be forgetting to have bottled water on hand and all the stuff they know they, they should do but maybe haven't. Um, and sooner or later, it's been a quiet century in California in terms of big earthquakes on the San Andreas really since 1906. And that's going to end sooner or later. Yeah. And that's going to be a different ball game than anyone alive today has seen before. Dr. Susan Huff, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.